Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to start off with a review of uh, Fong and Sung, two really essential elements to making internal power. And then we'll go into a review also of uh, the four basic Taiji Jins, the Hong Lu Ji An. And uh, we'll kind of play around with that a little bit. Uh, so uh, to, to begin, let's talk with about the Song and Fong. So uh, Song, S-O-N-G, is where you're releasing muscular tension so that you can actually uh, feel the support, the underlying support of your in, intrinsic structure so that you're saying, okay, what's the least amount of muscular effort I have to use in order to feel safely established so that I have a, found, a strong foundation. And what we'll find as we do that is that built into most humans is this like a hyper vigilance a, a tendency to, to resist life, to resist gravity, to push away from the earth, to tense up, to kind of put on, put on the brakes. And so the, what Taiji is, is essentially saying is, hey, we don't need that. In fact, we do a whole lot better without that. So a lot of what we're, we're doing is figuring out ways to trick the body to do something which is not natural, where nature has bred us through millions of years to look around and find danger. And what we're trying to say is yeah, maybe we want to relax that a little bit and, and be able to let go of that, that hyper vigilant response. And that's we do that by releasing the muscular tension and finding the underlying structure, which in this case is your connective tissue system. If you can can find that truck that the support of your connective tissue system, then we are able to better able to just be there comfortably and and not have to work at it quite so hard. And when we do that also, it allows for the energy to flow more freely. And then the other half of the, the Jin Foundation is, is Fong, F-A-N-G, which is extension or, I like to think of as reaching with the intention to connect. So if there's, if that's there, what happens is that there, you create a tensegrity in your connective tissue system, or you, I would say create tensegrity. Let me take that back and say, you're, you're amplifying the tensegrity, you're activating it. And that means that the tensional integrity of, of, of the system, the uh, living matrix of your connective tissue system then gets activated. So if we think of in terms of yin and yang, there is the, the sung would be the yin aspect. That is, you're releasing, you're going back, you're contracting, you're returning, coalescing into your, uh, to a state of being. And then feng is the yang aspect, and that reaches out. There's an extension there. And someone asked a question uh, about, how does that relate to substantial and insubstantial? And in, in, in a nutshell, substantiality is created by what we put our attention on, at least in the way that I'm thinking of it in terms of, of as, as a martial art, as in terms of, of Taiji Chuan. So whatever you're directing your attention toward becomes substantial. So if I reach with my right hand, that is becomes the substantial hand. 
My left hand is sitting happily in my lap and my attention is primarily on, on the, the, the right hand. If I reach with my right hand, but then I actually am feeling my leg with my left hand, then that's a substantial one, even though the right hand is reaching out. So it becomes, we, it, things become substantial when we direct our attention toward them. And the more attention we put on them, the more substantial they become. So things can, even things which apparently are quite abstract or uh, just seem somewhat, you know, uh, not very solid themselves become substantial. Say, even like words can become quite substantial if we create, put a lot of attention on them. We can actually think that the words themselves are the thing rather than what they represent. So the substantiality can, can shift around. And substantiality and insubstantiality is always a relative thing. It's like they both exist in everything. Everything has an insubstantial and a substantial aspect. And it's a question of where you're putting your focus. So when we're thinking Sung, if you are actually intentionally feeling into that release into your structure, then you're activating Sung. The more you do that, the more Sung you got. The same thing with Fung. The more you can reach to connect, the more Fung there is there and the more that becomes substantial. And to be clear, it's not a question of how far my arm is reaching forward is how much intention there is to reach. So there's the, that's the substantiality then lies in the activating energy. And that's where the phone gets really fun because then you can create effects with very little physical act, action. So going back to the Sung and, uh, and Fung will We'll, we'll, we'll play around with that when we do our, our, our exercise. Um, the one thing that uh, I've, I've found helpful recently is to, to override the, the built-in impulse to push away from the earth, which is something which is habitual for most of us. It's something we've been doing since we're toddlers. And is to actually do more of it. So you push away and then release. So then you're actually taking control of a pre-conscious action. You're making the pre-conscious conscious. And so then you're actually able to, to take control of something which ordinarily you have difficulty overriding. So we'll play around with that a little bit. So um, let's... Um, Let's stand up and, and just get right to it. An important point here is, if anybody's watching this and you're having difficulty standing or standing for any length of time, you can do this sitting down. Let me just show you before, before I do anything. If I'm, if I'm sitting down and I can push away and uh, release. So I'm activating Sung while sitting in a, in a chair. Same thing with Fong. I can feel and uh, Sung and then, oh, I extend from that. So there's, it's not something that is dependent on, you know, your, your being able to be ambulant. So the, that's uh, something that, you know, people can do. And it's actually a very good exercise for people who have, have difficulty moving around and, and uh, you can still get the, get the effect. You can still feel the chi, you can feel the, the song, feel the fong, feel the fong. And uh, uh, so uh, uh, just want to make that, that point. So let's, uh, let's begin by getting our three pillars in. So we establish those energetic connections. Okay, step out. Let's 
Feel the balls of your feet. Feel that point of contact. And these are, are softened, but you're not going down too deep. You're, you're just kind of just gently unlocking your knees. And feel your weight centering over the balls of your feet. So you're feeling a little for, more forward than you're used to. Reach with the crown of your head. And tuck in the chin, open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. Relax your lower back and drop your tailbone. So you're feeling a, a separation between your tailbone and the crown of your head. You're feeling those poles in opposition. And you're also feeling poles in opposition between your feet and your head. So what we're doing is we're kind of creating a fong there. We're reaching, reaching with the spine, reaching with the head, reaching with the feet. Extend your awareness through your feet and into the earth. You're feeling yourself kind of settling in and allowing the energy of the earth to rise to the bubbling well points in your feet and fill your body with that yin chi of the earth. Reach for the crown of your head and feel the yang chi of the heavens coming down and filling your body, reaching down through the niwan. Push away from the earth and just feel like you're pushing up, you're pushing your head against the ceiling and then ah, release down without losing that connection with the balls of your feet. Feel the substantiality of your base. That feel that substantiality of the connection with the earth. Reach with the elbows, the arms are slightly rounded, but not exaggerated. Just enough to relax your shoulders and open the shoulder joints. We're unlocking different stuck points unkinking the hose. Point with your index fingers, feel the energetic coherence. Feel that energy tickle throughout your whole body. Now, push away from the earth and sink. So here we're, again, we're exaggerating that just to be able to get past the habitual tension that we feel in the legs and the hips and reach up. Feel, reach with your elbows, reach with the wrists. Feel the arms extending, reaching out, reaching out with the fingers. So this is the phone, that sense of extending, opening, Push away and, and sink. And as you do that, bring your hands down. And as you do that, feel yourself moving through the space as though you are, your hands are moving through water. Feel the resistance of the space as you move down. Feel everything soon, very yin. 
with one exception, with the exception of that crown point. You know, feel the fong there, feel the reaching with the crown. Everything else is kind of dropping at this point and you're gathering, reaching this. Reach with the fingers. Feel that extension, feel the yang. So it's filling the whole system. Push away and sink. Just down, feel the resistance of the space. Pause a moment and just feel into your hands, your arms. Feel the chi circulating throughout the whole body. The sense of fullness. The spirit of vitality, the Jing Shen, is circulating throughout the whole body mind right now. That's our Fong and Sung. Step in and take a deep breath and reach up, gather and disappear the chi. And we're clearing the etch a sketch. We're going to start over. The energy is going to be a little higher grade this time. Let's explore Pongjin. Give it on your left heel. Step out with the right foot. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee. Push away and ah, release down into the right qua, the right hip. But also feel the support of the right leg. So Pong Jin is, can be thought of as an up and out energy. It's not just that, it's, but there's a, definitely a young expansive quality to it. So push away again and sink. Again, we're doing this gross movements in order to really get the feeling of Sung, get the feeling of the Chi. Reach with the wrists. Fingers, the elbows. Bring your right hand so that the palm is right in front of your, your chest, your center line. And your left hand is just relaxedly pointing forward. Reach with the elbows. Reach with the wrists, feel the wrist kind of pushing out a little bit, feel that expansion there. And feel that pong, P E N G. And then we have Lu energy, which is a, we consider a rollback energy. And, and the idea here is it's a down and in ordinarily. So turn and 
Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, push away and sink into that left leg. So you're in your back leg now and feel your elbows reaching. And as you turn your body, the hands come in and to the side. We're gathering that energy. So there's a pull there. The energy is coming in and down. Feel that. Now feel the ball of the right foot. Push your right knee out, set that. Push away with the right leg and then sink into the right leg and turn and we're going back to Pong. We're going back to a ward off posture. So feel that young energy reaching out radiating throughout the whole system, but primarily directed out through your right arm. But we can extend that pong in any direction with any, any part of the body. But in, in the Tai Chi form, we classically do it through the ward off posture. So we're gonna practice it with that. We'll get the feeling of it though. Turn, reach, feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, push away and sink into that left leg. So you're feeling sung there and feel the fong as you turn and reach. So the real key to Lu energy is that the energy is coming in and down, but it, the structure needs fong it needs that reaching in order to activate. Push away with your left leg, sink. And as you do that, your arms float up. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, push away with the right foot and then sink into that. And then uh, go back to Pong Jin. Feel the Fong energy, feel that expansion. Feel the sung as you sink into your, into your structure. Feel the support of the structure. Push away with your right leg, turn, open, and then feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee, push away with the left leg, and then sink down into the left and turn. Bong, reaching with those hands, but the energy is coming in. The Lu Jin is coming in. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, push away and sink. So you're sinking into that. The arms reach up, the wrists reach up. Your shoulders are very relaxed, reaching with the elbows. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, push away, coming up and then sink. And this time, we're going to go into chi energy and bring the two arms together, meeting at the, uh, at the wrist. So here we are, we have a double yang coming out. And to balance that, we are sinking into the yin of the sung. Push away with your right leg, turn open and roll back, reach. Reach, feel the fong. Feel that effortless power as it moves through your body. The sung is allowing the energy of the earth to rise up and fill. So that gives that substantiality to the, to the structure the reaching with the crown of the head, the knee one allows the yang chi of the heavens to come down and, and animate. Push away with your left leg, sink, or push away and then sink, arms come up, push away with the right leg and turn. 
G, press energy. So feel yourself really soon. You're letting go of muscular tension in your legs as you're reaching out fong with your arms. Push away with your left leg. Separate your hands and sink. And as we do that, the hands are sung. They're pressing down, very feeling the whole body sung is coming down with the energy. And this is the anjin. To the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, push away and sink into the right claw, right leg. Feel the support of that and reach out with the, with the, uh, with the hands while sinking. So we have the hands are fong, the, the legs are very sung. Reach with the elbows, open the shoulder joints. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, push away and circle down, pressing down, sink, reaching down with your elbows. Feel the density, the substantiality of that yin. It's like picking up a, uh, a small child that doesn't want to be picked up. There's a, there's a, oh, it, there's a density there. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, push away and sink and reach with the hands. Okay, now we're gonna put these together. Beginning with the push, we're going to push away with the left leg Uh, I'm sorry, push away with the right leg and turn. We're going to go to a, a rollback to push away with the left leg and turn. So, sung and fong. Push away with the left leg, sink. Sung and reach with the, with the arms. To the ball, the right foot, set the right knee and push away and turn and go into Pong Jin, going to the ward off. Push away with the right leg and soon turn. Left leg, push away and turn. Pong. Feel the Lu Jin, feel that energy in and down. Left leg, push away, sink, arms come up. Right leg to the ball, set the knee, push away and turn, press. Left leg, left ball, set the left knee, push away and sink. And in and down, right ball, right knees, push away and sink, push, anjin. Push away with your right leg, open and push away with your left leg. So feel the ball, set the knee, push away and sink and turn. Roll back. Push away. Sink. Arms come up, turn, and ward off. Pong Jim. Right ball, push away, turn. Left ball, push away, and sink. 
roll back. Grab your left leg, sink, and arms come up. Right ball, push, right knee, push away, and turn, press. Left ball, set the left knee, push away, and sink. Boom. Right ball, set the right knee, push away, and sink. Push. And now we're going to do it without the push away. This is where we were aiming for, where you are now getting a familiarity with what Sung feels like. So we can go there directly. So we're going to turn and left leg and then roll back. Lou. And so you're going immediately into Sung and going into Ward Off. Turn. The hips are staying Sung now. You don't have to reestablish that because you're feeling it. It's become part of you. Press, chi. Push on. One more. This time just do it. Up and just feel the chi. Feel the energy circulating. Feel the blood circulating. Take a deep breath. And disappear the chi. Dissolve into the emptiness. Please have a seat. How'd that go? Good, good. Any comments, thoughts, questions? Scott. Um, that was awesome. I've actually been getting most of that in my form, which has been really cool. Um, 
can you just go over the like quickly go over what each energy does because i always thought pong was more of a or a round and you're kind of saying it's more of a straight so i think i'm well, this is this is pretty rounded right yeah. but we, when you're like when we're doing this right you're you're going straight out right you're not going this way right uh no there's 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 this is great but it's it's um multi-directional so it's like you're on the on the outside of a um, a barrel or something you know the the every point is is capable of directing outward it's also going inward so there's it's like uh kind of like a like a big a big ball you know or a balloon or a tire you know there's that that energy is filling up and out so this this hand is is this is the yin hand, and it's there just to uh, provide the ground for the system. It's it's the negative pole. So I, I'm I'm not sure where the the the, the well, direction. At one point, I thought you had kind of said that it was sort of you know, the energy was going forward. Maybe I it missed is, you back. It is going forward. It is directional. Okay. But it, it's not. Yeah. But the, the whole system is full. Right. But it's not exploding in all directions. It is pong is is directed energy. It's it's, um, and I'm gonna couch the couch that in with, with a qualifier here. There are some people who talk about pong uh, as more of a a system thing, which is just sort of the sense of fullness of the, the whole body. Which I would I I prefer the term jong tijin for that, which is a whole body sense of energetic connection and that i prefer that for for pong but some people use the term pong in that in that way and and that's perfectly valid it just that uh, i'm i'm the last person to uh, to say which chinese words are appropriate for which thing, which things i just i'm gonna say that you know for what we're trying to do here is this is this is your. This is the the business end of the of the movement. It's the yang, substantial aspect of it, and so it is directional. But that direction, the substantiality of the direction, will change with your attention. So if you're if you're going that way, that's fine. If you're going that way, that's fine. If you're going that way, that's fine. It's all pong. Once you fill up the system, it doesn't matter which direction you do, you you point it. That the the gun is loaded and you can point in any direction you want. At that point, does that does that make sense? Yeah, actually, what you said about what other people say, I've heard other people say that, and I think that's where my confusion came in. Okay, cool. And and that's it's certainly uh, uh, like I say, it's 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 a valid use of the term, uh, just not what we're going for here. I prefer a finer distinction, and and and. Particularly as related to Pong Lu Ji On, because they they are all directional, you know, they those things. So so it uh, I prefer to take it out of sort of like yeah everything is everything kind of category and and put it more into like no no it, this means this in this context. Very that, okay, thank you. It, Very that, good good good. Uh, anybody else? Thoughts, questions, reactions that helpful, not helpful. Uh, Jonathan. It seems like an, I don't know what to call it, but like an extra dimension of Pong comes in when you imagine you're doing this with a partner. And it's subtle, but it's, it's actually not subtle. It's like an extra outness goes there, which makes me think, without that sense of a person to reach to, something's pulling back because I don't know why that, it just seems like such an extra powerful, oh, now I'm calm. Now I'm really extending. As if my extension wasn't as authentic before I imagined a partner, somebody I'm actually touching. You know, this thing about doing the form as if there's a partner with you, you know. So I don't do, I, and I remember the first time 
years ago in the studio when we did roll away and he's like just put your hand there to test it's like oh, oh i see i don't really have it do i it's like just the slightest little resistance suddenly brings out a whole nother dimension of i don't know right. or something you know, that's a very valid point a uh, very valid point uh, having having that sense of something to to bump up against takes it out of the abstract and makes it more substantial. And I, I, I totally agree with that. Um, so I highly recommend, you know, particularly say with something like Pong, you know, just go up against a wall and put mm. your put your arm against it and feel what mm. that feels like. So you're getting feedback and then you can see also how much is, is muscle mm -hmm. and how much is you know, your your structure, how much is your connective tissue animated by chi, you know, which would be the, the jin. So, uh, but that's something to, to play with. I think though, as you, as you get familiar with it, you don't need the partner. You know, you get, you begin to become aware of it for itself, you know, but it does, I think you're right. I think it's a, it is a good uh, step to, to to getting confidence that yeah I'm doing it I got I have got this thing happening here uh, I think it's important to uh, to have I have a partner doing that to give you that feedback or even an imaginary I, I think right Cheng Ching did say that right do the form as if you have a partner do push hands as if you don't what do you uh, think? sure sure and that and that's that's a useful tool. That's a useful tool, but it's, I don't think it's a limiter. I don't think it's necessary. I think it's a, it's a helpful tip to, mm. uh, to, it's a helpful tip to, to get, you know, if you don't know what you're doing and you want to know what you're doing, then that's, that's a gradient step toward, toward getting to, to uh, getting familiar with the energy, with the gin in and of itself. Because the, the yeah. goal we're going for here is that we become so familiar with these this insubstantial aspect of, of what we're doing that we don't need anyone else. We can, we can, we can feel it. You know, we can feel the gin in and of itself. And of course it gets better if you, if you, you're working against someone getting that feedback. Hmm. Nick, you had something. Yeah. I'm wondering if it's fair as uh partial clarification to explain Pong as more a meeting and holding space than even though it may be directional, right? That it doesn't project onward the same way G does. Good question. Good, 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 good thought there. Can you talk a little more about that? Yeah, yeah. Well, my understanding of things Pong is, is, I mean, it, it's kind of short distance and short, it's about, um, it's, it's holding space. It is that hoop of the barrel thing that the, um, and, and it's what helps to maintain the structure. And, and, and I'm one of those people who uses the term both ways, both in terms of the movement and in terms of the fullness of the, of the whole system. But but um, in in this sense that we're talking about, Hung to me is something that um, has a kind of a, a definite end in it in a, the 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 sphere of influence, if you will, the force field of Hung is somewhat limited in a way that G, which for me is something that projects not just meeting whatever the object of connection is, but actually pushing right on through it and going out the other side. Um, so that and that's I'm just wondering if that is well, that would fit in with more the the tire analogy. Mm -hmm. You want yeah, it, it is contained within within that you know that that shape. So we're same thing here. We're we're filling the shape uh, uh, and and I, I get what you're saying about it being um, limited in in terms of what we're 
you know, uh, how, how much is projecting. But uh, I remember talking with uh, Yong Fu Kui about this, and, he, you know, you know it, it's the idea, he, he called it Chung and Jun, which is there's a, there's a quality there of, of filling, but there's also each point is right. like, like an arrow going out from that point. So it's a uh, res G is yeah right it, it's 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 very directional in in that sense uh, it's a, a um, like two it's like vectors is getting two uh, you know these two uh, vectors coming together and, and making a uh, uh, making an arrow out of that and I think there's there's that so it's, it's more it's we're taking two yangs there and 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 creating a a super yang out of it. And uh, whereas the Pong has a whole bunch of little ones, uh, you know, maybe an infinite number of little arrows popping out there that uh, are that, that go in each direction. And it doesn't have the 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 explosive quality of the uh, of G, perhaps. It's the force field well, I, I, versus I, I, the laser beam. The force that? field versus the laser beam. OK. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but I have felt pong from people who are really adept at this, and there is a you know a, a, you get thrown you get thrown by the by it. So it's a uh, you know it's not uh, uh, it's not nothing. You know it's not just holding space. It's it has a it has a kick to it as well. So. Uh, uh, I think it depends on how much yang you put into it, you know, that, and I guess, and, and with that also how much yin to, to provide the, your foundation for it. But it's, a, it's, a, it's, you know, it's good because we're, we're playing right on the edges here <laughs> of, the, of, the, of these terms. And uh, uh, for our purposes in terms of just filling up a uh, a ward off posture with some juice, you know. It uh, I think it's useful to to think of it as like you know feeling that that expansiveness of you know filling up a tire. And then you have you know it's it's resilient. It it it's can you uh, you know if you hit it with something it bounces off. Scott. Well, I think I said this once before, but it's, um, it, it's more like a, it's almost like an airbag, right? In a car. Yeah. It's, it's going out. Right. You have to be close to that air. You have to be fairly close to that airbag for it to work, right? Right. Right. But there's. Um, but yeah, it can, send you, it can send you, if you weren't in, in the seat when it went off, you'd be out the back window, right? Right. So yeah, it's got power, but it's uh, it's going it's going in every direction at once. Right, right. That that's it's a good analogy. It's a good analogy, for, particularly for what we're doing. And then I think there are levels beyond levels on this. And uh, but uh, for for the, the the ballpark we're playing in, I think that's that's a real good uh, a good analogy. So was that uh, exercise clear enough? With that, that uh, came came through. You're able to, to to. So basically, we're just you know throwing in a a rollback there, where needed, in order to to do the next move. So you can have a continuous movement. And another really important point here, and it's something that yeah, it took me decades to to come become aware of. It's like each of these are individual jins. They're individual energies. They're distinct and they have their own personality. And you have to separate them out. It's not like one big mush. It's like each one is its own thing and you want to learn to turn them on and off in the movements. And that's part of the that's part of the fun of it is that you're learning to control which gin you're using 
so that you can make it smaller, smaller, smaller until you can activate them in with very little physical movement where the the gins themselves become so distinct that you you don't need a lot to make it to make it happen and this is where you know this is where push hands comes in handy where you are practicing gin you know at beginner levels you know you're just circling around and you're just trying not to fall over and or maybe you're trying to knock the other guy or whatever but as you fine tune your push hands it becomes more and more about refining your gin being able and also being able to identify the gin that's being presented to you and so it takes a while to get away from just i want to win or i just want to to circle or just want to you know to create a, a little dance or something and and to turn it into something where you're actually using as a, a uh, an opportunity to fine tune your gin and that's i think that's where the fun is in in push hands